In this video, I'm going to show you how to add some new features to your workout template, including the ability to select predetermined set and rep schemes, as well as use these filters so that you can filter out what set and rep schemes you want to see. This is going to be a really powerful trick for anyone who are using predetermined set and rep schemes in their template and wants to make their programming a lot quicker and easier. So let's get after it. Okay, so we're back and as a reminder of how far we got in the last video that we were working on this template, what we had added was the ability to select different set and rep schemes that we store in a master basically table. So I can add a new set and rep scheme name in here and then just type in all of the variables and basically when I go to my template, that set and rep scheme is now available to be selected. Now, similar to how we've done in our exercise video, what I'd like to do is add the ability to filter out different set and rep schemes. Maybe I want to only select the ones for power or for strength or whatever my categories might be. So we're going to do that now. Um, and basically, I'm going to create this filter here on the left hand side with some checkboxes. And then based on our selection, we can um, only select those set and rep schemes. So let's go ahead and do that now. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm just basically going to merge these cells here. The way my template's set up, this is the best way to do it. I'll just copy up here, but basically all I want are the words category and select. And I'll just paste this here. And instead of exercises, I want it to say set and rep. So this just gives me a place where I can start to type in the different types of set and rep schemes that I actually want to um, be able to select from. So let's create a couple. So maybe we want hypertrophy, maybe we want strength, power, 531, whatever we want to use there. Um, any of these would work. Um, just when I typed a number, it turned it into a number, but I could easily format this um, as text and Sorry, I want to just change, yep, format text, hit bold, and that will just make it a text value instead. And I'll just center or uh, left justify those. And then on the right hand side here, all I'll do is add some checkboxes. So I can just select these four cells, go to insert, and then there is an option for a checkbox. And as a reminder for how checkboxes work, you can um, basically when they are checked, that gives a value of true. And when they are unchecked, that gives a value of false. So here are my set and rep scheme categories. And these are the ones that I want to select true or false. So from there, what I have to do is if I go to my table, I need to give myself the ability to actually categorize these set and rep schemes. So what I'm going to do is right before tempo, I'm just going to right click and add a column and we'll call this category. And I'm going to create a drop down menu here. So I'll select all of these cells. We'll go data and then data validation. And the list that I want to use is actually just going to be this list of categories here on my actual sheet. And when I hit OK, what you're going to see is I will now have the ability to select those different set and rep schemes. So I'll just put those in. And the reason I'm doing this through a drop down, I could easily just type in the name. But when I use a drop down, that makes sure that everything is spelled correctly and that the format's correct and all of that. Okay, so let's select a couple. We'll select hypertrophy and power. And then the last thing that I want to do here is I'm just going to copy these cells and paste them just to keep the formatting. But I'm going to call this last column true slash false. And I need to write a formula in here that basically says if I have selected that category, I want to return a value of true. And if I haven't, then I want to return a value of false. Now, I only want to write the formula one time. And then the formula that I'm going to write is going to include an array formula. And we're going to use an array formula because that will calculate all the way down. So what this formula looks like is equals array formula. And what we need to do is an if statement. And basically what I want to check is if the category selected here matches any of the categories with the value of true. Now I can filter out these categories with the value of true by just using the formula filter. 
and then based on the true value. So what this will do is I'm going to say if open this up and match and if match um, formula finds a match it's going to return a number. So basically I can check to see if these categories uh, match any of the filtered values and that will return a number. So I just have to check if it's greater than zero. So I'll say if match B3 all the way to B so it's going to look all the way down comma um, if there's a match in that between the filtered out values. So what that looks like is filter open that up and I want to filter out these values here comma if this is equal to true. So I don't need to do anything else other than just select the cells because it will return it if it's true and not if it's false. And then these are in no order. So for match, we just need to end this in false comma. And then if that is greater than zero, then that is our if statement. We want to return the value of true and then we'll close off that if because we don't have a value if it's not true and then close off the array formula, hit enter. And you can see now what this does is it gives us NAs because it's calculating all the way down and there's an error there, but it's returning the value of true for any one of these categories that matches. So from here, I can clean this up by just typing in the formula if error at the, t at the front and then at the end, um, comma, if there is an error, let's just return blank cells with double quotations and I'll hit um, a comma or sorry a bracket and then there we go that cleans up the formula so basically if I select one of those sets of rep schemes I get the value of true here if I unselect it I get the value of false so then the last thing that we have to do is just create another list filtered out of all those values so let's say set rep filter and I'm going to use the filter formula here. So I'll type equals filter. And I want to select these set and rep schemes. So I'm going to say A3 all the way to A. If um, basically K3 all the way to K is equal to true. And I'll hit enter. And you can see we only have one of those right now. But if I were to go back and select the other ones, now we have those values filtered out. And then from there, it's as simple as changing this drop down box. So I'm just going to select these cells here, and go to data, data validation. And now, what I'm going to do is my um, range is going to be equal to this filtered list. And I'll just select it. I could easily select it all the way down, but I'm just going to select 30 cells because I don't have any more than that right now. Hit OK, save. And if I go back here, you'll see. I got all my set and reps, so 5 by 5 4 by or 4010, 90 seconds. And, but if I turn off some of these filters, I only get the ones now that match. Okay. The only other thing that that's changed is I have to go, go through and update a lot of my V lookups here because those are matching based on the column. And we've added this extra column here. So I'm just going to go through and change all those right now. So I just need to basically add one to each one. So instead of two, we're looking at three. Instead of three, we're looking at four, um, five, six, seven, um, eight, nine, and 10. And what I can do here is I can take these formulas and just drag them down. And there we go. There's all our formulas updated. Now, whenever we do it this way, it's going to show an error here because that um, the one that is selected here doesn't currently match our filter. So that error goes away if it's currently selected. Now, if that bothers you, I mean, I don't think it's a big deal because we're probably going to be printing this anyways and hiding it. So it, it kind of hides away. Um, so I would just kind of leave that alone. If it does bother you, what you could have is some other master filter that just sort of has all of them included, but that's really going to defeat the purpose. So I would probably just leave it this way. Um, but now just to show you how easy it is to add a new set and rep, we'll say video set and rep. And we'll say that it is 531. And I'm just going to put some numbers in here just so you can get the idea of how it works. And now if I select 
531, I should be able to just select that and all of my sets and reps are now in there. Now one last thing we can do to clean it up is I can take basically column A all the way to C and we'll go to, I think it's data and do, 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 do. no, it's not in data. It might be in view and there's the option to group and I'm going to group columns A to C and that gives me this button up here where I can toggle it closed. So if I was going to print this, I would just toggle it closed and then I wouldn't be printing any of that additional um, information. When I'm doing my programming, I open it back up, select the ones that I want, open this one back up, and then away we go. We select all of our sets and reps, close it back down, and basically print it and hand it to the athlete. So I hope this trick helps you out. If it does, if you could like and subscribe to the channel, that would really help me out. It helps me keep creating these videos. Um, as well as if you have other ideas, feel free to kind of put them in the comments down below, and I'll see if I can't create those videos as well. So thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.